Hello, everyone. Welcome past the middle of the week. It is Thursday this week, and I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying warm. It is just cold here in Lincoln. We've had snow. We've had blizzard conditions. We've had cold like nobody's business. Yesterday was a little warmer, and then today more snow, and the weekend more cold. So <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying well and warm. And here we are as we're making our way through January, which I think is the toughest month of the year. It's like the like the Monday of the calendar year is January. So we're going to get through it. We're going to get there. And I, I heard yesterday on the radio that yesterday was the day when most New Year's resolutions come to an end. So we make it a couple weeks, almost three weeks, and then we're like, ah, oh, we're done with that. Uh, so how are you doing? Did you make any New Year's resolutions? And how are you doing on them? thought about this a bit today. I was in at the gym this morning and right at the beginning of the year, right as January started, it was kind of hard to find a machine. People, there were just tons of people there. This morning, I didn't have much problem. I could get on the machines that I wanted to. And so, yes, it's cold. It's easy to stay inside. But I thought, well, I wonder how people's New Year's resolutions are going. I don't know what your resolutions were. I don't even know that I made mine. Uh, but thinking today, what are the things that I want to keep doing that I don't want to just do for a little bit and then stop. And uh, the major thing I could think of in my Christian walk is I need to pray more. It, it sounds simple, right? Uh, and But I don't, I don't know how much you pray, but I think all of us can pray more because prayer makes a difference. It opens up the gateway for God to do things that he wouldn't have done forcing his way into our lives or into the lives of others. So prayer is, is so important. In fact, Paul put it this way in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18. Now, uh, Adventists are really good at knowing 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18, but chapter 5, 16 to 18 is great too. He begins in verse 16 with just two words, rejoice always. That's not easy to do. I'll admit, it's been hard to rejoice when I'm <laughs> this cold out in January. Uh, but he doesn't say just rejoice in the summer months, just rejoice when things are going great. Rejoice always. And then verse 17, pray without ceasing. Or your Bible might say pray at all times. So however much we've been praying, Paul says it's not enough because it's our lifeline, it's our connection to God. So I want to encourage you, think about your prayer life. Think about praying more. It doesn't always have to be formal prayers. It's just talking to your best friend talking to Jesus, telling what, him what's going on, and then not just talking, but listening. Listening to what he has to say and as he guides us. So, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What a beautiful reminder. Um, yes, we all can exercise more. Yes, we could all eat better. Uh, yes, we could all uh, serve more. But one of the best things we can do and this is something anyone can do. Whether you have a degree, an education, or not, whether you have uh, tons of money or not, we can all pray more. And that's one of the best gifts that God has given to us, and it's one of the most powerful things that we have at our disposal for our walk through this world. So I just want to encourage myself and want to encourage you. Let's all pray more here in 2024. Friends, have a great rest of your week. I hope you join us for worship here at Piedmont Park, we're going to have it in person. All things, that's the plan, is to do that. We couldn't do it last week in person because of the cold and the winter and the snow. But this week we can, I believe. And so we're going to be in person for Sabbath school and for our worship service, 9.30 for our Bible study time and 11 o'clock for our worship service, fellowship meal after that, and then a, a health talk after the fellowship meal. So tons of things going on. Hope you'll join us. If you can't get here in person, if it's too slick, too cold, that's okay. You can watch online at YouTube and on Facebook. Friends, take care, and let's take care of each other. God bless you.